Hey, what's up everyone? AI Collectibles here with another army for you. Uh, today we're showcasing a Skaven army. I'll go ahead and give you a once over. Alright, so what we have here is 80 clan rats, uh, two master molders, two warlords, two engineer I'm sorry, two engineers. Um, back there we have six, I think they're poison poison wind mortars. Uh, obviously a screaming bell, plague furnace, and uh, we have a plague priest back here. And as usual, we'll give you a little uh, up close look and talk to you about what we did. So we can get a closer view. Um, basically this whole set is is two Island of Blood sets. Um, there's a few miniatures missing from the set, but uh, it's pretty much just the Skaven portion of the Island of Blood. There's, uh, like I said, a total of 80 clan rats themselves. Uh, let's see if we can focus in on this. Picked out the gem on the rock there. We went for the a green flame, but sort of the reverse flame. Um, you may have seen us do before, where we start with a white base and then work up. Uh... Sorry, we're testing out a new camera, so I hope this picks up a decent amount of detail. Well, there's one uh... warlord. Let's get the other one here. Same thing. This one we changed up uh, the weapons a little bit of a uh, copper in there or gold. the plague priest nothing too crazy on these just you know uh, we try to just stick with clean colors and, and light colors to the uh, Skaven race and you know just try to do a neat clean job as usual I'll show you some of these uh, normally with us we'll pick out every detail on a model um, just to try and uh, you know make it stand out from the table there You guys may just have to wait for the photos at the end. I'm not sure if this camera's picking up things too well. I'll continue. Alright, let's get to the, some of the goodies here. Here's the uh, the plague furnace. We sort of you know played around with the different greens, um, you know for the for the little clan rats on these things here. You can see he's a sort of a lighter green, and he's you know some dark ones back here. Again, sort of went for the reverse flame rather than working up from a dark. We worked up from a white. Um, you know, on this here. We made sure on the copper to sort of put the little, I'm not sure what it's called, uh, I guess corrosion on uh, the little copper bolts here. That's that. Take a look at the screaming bell. I kind of like the screaming bell a little better. Um, I love the little dude up on top here. There's that. The cauldron there. I don't know. It's smoke, fire stuff coming out. 
There you go. I love this huge uh, dude back here. You know, what we do uh, when we paint these is we try and, uh, I guess we sort of use GW as a reference, but uh, for some things, but otherwise we try and really just work in our own, our own style and I guess some of our own colors. Um, we sort of use GW as a reference for, I guess, the cleanness and I don't know, maybe what should be painted, what color kind of thing, but otherwise we try and really just stay unique to our own style and, and uh, you know, incorporate our own ideas and everything. Here's uh, the poison wind mortars. You'll notice those little gas balls. We uh, sort of really tried to do some layering effects on those, and then uh, we gave them a you know a gloss finish on that to really make them pop. Hope these are coming out again with the corrosion on the copper there. We added that in. And again, we're using the Tufts from uh, Army Painter. If you haven't seen our uh, tutorial on that, take a look. We love those things. I mean, they're just so easy compared to, you know, using regular static grass. A little more pricey, but that's all right. They look nice. Maybe we'll take a look at some clan rats here. We basically gave every clan rat like a red, um, you know, color scheme for their lower cloak thing. But we mixed up the uh, top thing that covers their face from. Uh, we worked up basically like a, a grays on some. For example, this has like a gray type cloak. We worked up the color on that, and then the other color we chose was something of a like a tan color. There we go. We picked out all our eyes with red. Um, you know, pretty much everything's been highlighted. Everything's been taken care of, start to finish. And I'm pretty satisfied with how this turned out. Standard bear. Otherwise, if you guys have any questions on, uh, you know, maybe colors we used or how we painted certain things, uh, please let us know. We're always here to help. Um, that's why we're on YouTube, just to sort of uh, showcase what we do and what we can do for you. And we're definitely here to help. So if you have any questions, just uh, shoot us an email. You can email me uh, personally, uh, a anthony at aicollectibles.com or just our general mailbox, info at aicollectibles.com. Uh, we'll be happy to commission your next army. We have the best prices on the market, I think. And... I think we do some pretty good work for uh, for what we charge. So if you want a quote or something, just give us an email. I'll get you a quote either the next day or, or same day. And um, like I said, I, I can almost guarantee we're probably some of the best prices out there. We don't have much in our staff, so that's how we're able to keep our prices pretty low. And you know, the studio we rent out, it's you know, it's small, but uh, it works for us, and that's how we're able to you know produce things fast for you guys. And to uh, give you some pretty good turnarounds along with some pretty good prices. So shoot us an email and we'll be here. I'll just give you another little quick once over and then uh, I'll have some photos to follow.
right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Talk to you soon.